Man is putting on a show this weekend. It is Larry Dixon in the Rapisada Autosport International Top Fuel Dragster. We saw his gymnastic exploits yesterday when he lost a rear wheel, the left rear wheel in his top field drag. So a full 360 without hitting anything. Wade, it was one of the most spectacular pieces of driving I think I've ever seen. Well, you said it yourself. He called on all 20 years of his experience. We just saw then Lee Beard, his American crew chief, the man responsible for putting this deal together with Santa Reposada. The deal was done with Beard, who then went back to the States and spoke to Larry and said, hey, do you want to get on board with this? Of course, this team now races on both sides of the globe. Larry competing in the NHRA. There is Lee to the left in that red shirt, walking alongside Larry Dixon as he had stunned by for so many years. Of course, what an introduction that Larry had to the sport, working with one of the absolute legends of American drag racing. Absolutely, and you'd rather have nobody else in your corner. Lee Beard is a multi-time world champion crew chief. Funnily enough, these guys had actually never worked together ever before until they came together under the Rapisada Autosport banner. So uh, I guess you could say it's a meeting of the minds for the Rapisada team, and look, only good things can come from it. He worked originally as a crew member with Don the Snake Prodome, so a very, very experienced man until he actually got a chance to race. Let's have a look at this qualifying run. Both candles are lit. This looks good. <laughs> wow. 450, 332 miles per hour. That is an epic run. The quickest run we have ever seen on Australian soil. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a boomer right there. What a remarkable pass. Dixon right down the middle, a couple of liquor strips right through the sticky stuff. That was an epic run. To the pit report now and a very special account of an Australian record, 4.50, well done. Thank you very much. It's, uh, you know, credit to the team. You know, after our mishap yesterday and all the all the, uh, all the the work that took into going into getting the car back together, get it repaired, made that run last night. And, uh, you know, the guys just did a phenomenal job. Lee Beard, Santino, Sano's son put a great setup in the car. And, uh, wow, you get to see history. I suppose it's not really that unexpected from our point of view we, we do think we're going to see the best from you even when hiccups come but for you did you have that feeling or you were a bit like ah? Oh. no you keep your mind on the game if you ask any athlete you know when they're in the middle of the game i mean they're just they're just doing their thing and so you just pay attention to everything that you need to car felt really good really flawless and went down the racetrack it was just a clean nice run and it was very representative for uh, the amount of talent that's on this as a race car right now